Uh, now for something slightly different. The Channel Island of Guernsey has never been exactly a hotbed for footballing talent. That's him, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but apart from that, only a handful of others have made it to the top five. But that could be about to change. Guernsey <laughs> FC decided the only way forward was to join the league on the British mainland. And right now they're flying. And so their opponents. Russ Taylor explains. <laughs> an early morning start for Feltham FC as they embark on an international fixture. Oh, hello, mate. You all right? Good morning. You like your name doors as well? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some more professionally prepared than others. I've got a bottle of Sambuca in this one. So, yeah. Where's your passport? What's that? I don't need it. There's a gap around here, look. Their destination is the Channel Island of Guernsey, English football's most distant outpost. <laughs> Fed up with only neighbours Alderney and Jersey to play against, Guernsey decided to look to the mainland for competitive opponents. For many, many years, one of the problems with football on this island is, is trying to find the right opposition to test them on a regular basis. And so uh, we decided that the best way to do that is to try to enter the, uh, the non-league pyramid. And we spoke to the Football Association, they introduced us to the Combined Counties League, and here we are. Guernsey are not just paying their own costs, they have to pay for the flights and the hotel of the other teams as well. We put together a significant business plan over 18 months. Um, we're covering the cost of teams flying here and staying here for, for one night, as well as naturally covering our own cost when we travel to, to the UK mainland. We're used to that. Uh, Guernsey, whenever we've played in any competition, we've always uh, had to play, pay for the uh, opposition to come here, and uh, that's no different. The terms are that uh, we uh, pay for 22 people to fly here, and we put them up in a hotel overnight, and we uh, transport transport them around the island uh, to and from the game and from the airport. There's a lot of good players over here. Um, you know, since, since Matt, obviously the legend himself, made it, you know, we haven't had anyone sort of go through and it's become difficult to become a professional footballer, but there is talent over here. Part of the, the aim of Guernsey FC is to get players, you know, young players from Guernsey noticed and in the, the shop window in the UK, you know, it's, it's really tough coming from Guernsey. It, you know, you might as well be on the moon sometimes. We play um, Jersey once a year and we get a couple of thousand for that game and it's, you know, it's the big game of the year. But now to have that every week um, down here at Foots Lane, the sport's incredible and so many people and so many new fans have got behind it that it's just a credit to the island and fantastic for the future of Guernsey football. My brother has obviously had a, a great deal to do with uh, setting up Guernsey FC and he asked me if I'd become involved and uh, I'd be the president of the football club. So uh, I'm more than happy to agree and it's a very historical season for the boys. You know, first time a, a team from the Channel Islands has entered the league in the UK and uh, they've had a brilliant start so far. It's nice to actually watch a live game and be at the, be at the game rather than watching it on that little 12-inch television. Matt and over 1,700 other fans witnessed another home win. Yeah! Ross Allen sealed the victory with his 37th goal of the season. The Green Lions are already 11 points clear at the top of the table. So the end of the adventure for Felton, and all that's left behind are the memories. If only you had scored. If only you had scored. <laughs> <laughs> Leave him behind. Leave him in. Nice Legendary. The memories and maybe one other thing. If you find my phone, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fantastic story of Guernsey. Matt, your younger brother must be well pleased. Uh, yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> 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 very troll, very troll. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. I'll tell you what, that striker as well, one or two clubs like Hartlepool, they could do worse than take a look at him. Let's bring you up with some team news. The big game of the day, the two unbeaten sides in the